The milk and cheese in your fridge starts with cows. I'm Dominique Lavignier, your Bakersfield neighborhood reporter. And one Bakersfield organization at the World Ag Expo has developed an environmentally friendly way to get those dairy products from the dairy farm to the grocery store. Moving from the cow to the shelves is not a simple process. Damon Reed with Pro Refrigeration, one of the featured exhibitions at the World Ag Expo, says his company takes on refrigeration. The temperature of a cow is around 100 to 102 degrees is kind of their normal temperature. So, which is why we got yeah. milk at 98. <laughs> Reed tells me his company is the first to pioneer the instant cooling process. Standard synthetic refrigerants, uh, those were damaging and harmful to the atmosphere. He says the natural CO2 refrigerant cools milk from 98 degrees at the farm to 36 degrees. We need to get that temperature of the milk down so that we uh, prevent bacterial growth. Uh, in the storage uh, cycle. Reed says they began developing the system about three years ago. And Stan Krailman, the 2024 World Ag Expo chairman, says there's innovation from hundreds of companies. If you're looking for something new in, in ag, it's probably here. A lot of companies use this show to debut something that they've been working on all year. This year marks the 57th show, and Krillman expects more than 100,000 visitors to attend the expo this year. Probably the biggest difference this year is our show has become much more animated. And that's exactly what Reed did, showing us how the natural refrigerant instantly cools the milk, beginning from the storage tank. From here, we take it and we pump it at a constant speed through this heat exchanger. This heat exchanger, this is where we transfer the heat from the milk into the, the secondary cooling medium. Reed tells me this one step in the process to get dairy products to your table will help take care of the environment and contribute to new developments in the ag industry. We're the first to pioneer it and we are standing behind it 100%. We'll be covering the World Ag Expo all week long. You can stay tuned in on air and online at turn23.com. Reporting in Tulare for 23ABC News, I'm Dominique Lavigne, your neighborhood reporter.